Okay, so this is about to be a real glow up. This is what I've been doing nonstop for the last like a month. I just got out of the shower, didn't wash my hair. It's one of those days, but I'm putting on my eye cream, which is from First Aid Beauty. It's the brightening eye cream. And honestly, it works wonders. It gives an immediate glow, brightens the under eye, but let's get something on the complexion because she is puffy. She's not sleeping. She's tired. I'm going to make this makeup routine as simple as I possibly can for you because this is just what I do to feel good about myself. So this is Say Glowy Super Gel. I mix the shades Sun Glow and Star Glow. That is not necessary. I just happen to have both of them and I like the combo. I like giving myself a little color and then a little glow. If you are tan or it's later in the summer when you're watching this, just go with um, sun glow. But if you're more fair like me, star glow is probably for you. Okay, I just can't believe how puffy I am. <laughs> like, oh my God. It's okay, we're gonna get there. So the base I've been doing has been one of two things. I've either been doing a foundation, which is more rare, or I've been doing like a BB cream, CC cream, SPF situation. So go in with what you feel is best for you. I actually think today I wanna use my e.l.f. Halo Glow. This I feel like is the best of both worlds where it gives me coverage, but it continues to give me glow. So this has kind of been like my foundation replacement. I used to mix, mix this with foundation, but I have found that I really don't need to. Like it really gives me plenty of coverage, especially with the concealer that we're gonna go on with. Another option that I use sometimes is the It CC Cream. So this is really the only variable of the makeup look is just kind of like, what am I feeling my skin needs today? Do I need more coverage? Do I need less coverage? Do I want SPF? Like I just kind of decide. So take your pick. Um, it really doesn't matter for this look. It's just whatever you like and whatever works for your skin. But you can see the immediate evenness glow that that gives. Next up, and probably the most important part, wow, I've gone through this, I feel like relatively quick because I use it every single day. This is the Rare Beauty Contour Stick in the shade Bright Side. And you can see I use this very liberally. I just put it everywhere. I want to bronze, add a little shape for the jaw, the cheeks, the nose, a little lift near the eyes. And then we're just going to buff this in stuff blends like an absolute dream so you can see that just bronzed up the face it also gave me a little bit of shape we're gonna get a little bit more carved out with our concealer but i've actually been loving doing my concealer last that product's a non-negotiable and the say dewy blush in the shade baby is my other non-negotiable for this look so i actually apply this right now at this step i will also apply it at the end and i apply it on my lips at the end i basically like to drown in this i'm gonna zoom you guys in and i like to blend this out with kind of just like an angled fluffier brush so that it really like fans out all over the face the color if you are a similar complexion to me you will be obsessed it is just so gorgeous like that purpley pink glow it's also the finish and consistency of this that i am obsessed with and you'll see when i top it over everything at the end but we love okay so next up is concealer i've been using the tower 28 in the shade i don't know i'm gonna find it for you but this coverage and the creaminess of this concealer has been everything it's really all i use and like i said it allows me to not feel like i need to wear a foundation because i can get all the coverage I need from this. Also carve out the cheekbones with that. And a little goes a long way. Like I tend to really need to blend this out because I, used, I usually end up doing too much. Okay, trick. I just started doing this, but let your concealer sit. We're gonna let that sit for like two minutes while I do my brows. And all I'm doing in the brows is my 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. It's just a clear brow gel that holds the brows up gives them a little bit of like a more laminated look. If you use the shorter side, it's gonna look more laminated. So I like to do the longer side to just coat the brows and then I will flip it over and do the shorter side just to get them to kind of stay a little bit more down up, <laughs> like up, but like down onto my actual skin. I love that product. Okay, I zoomed you back out a little bit cause I felt like it was just really all up in my grill. And I feel like you can still see my face now. This is a Kylie Cosmetics brush and I have been loving it for blending out my concealer because it's this like triangle shape. This brush just allows me to be really precise about where I'm blending out that concealer and it's just nice and dense and I just love it. So I really, I kind of use it like a sponge where I just press the product in and 
kind of drag it out. I'm not really swiping at all. I am just pressing. Once I get done and still need to do down over here, I grab my It Cosmetics brush, which is just any, like any fluffy or dense, <laughs> round, kind of dense, kind of fluffy brush. I love this one from It Cosmetics. It's probably my favorite brush I own. It was expensive and I was like, this might be a stupid purchase, but the amount that I've used it, it makes my makeup so smooth and flawless. And I'll actually just use that brush to go over everything one more time just to make sure everything is really seamless and you can see we have some shape we have some glow we have a little color we are making a speedy transition i also love that this brush is dual ended so i can flip it over do concealer with this if you want or just any get any harsh lines out okay time for the star of the show Givenchy <laughs> prism lieb you guys know I can't live without this. If you watch my channel, put it on a puff. I get these on Amazon. This is just going to set everything. This is going to airbrush everything. And I cannot live without it. It makes my skin look so much better. And I love that you can use it even if you're not using like a foundation. You can use it just over like that e.l.f. halo glow with a little concealer. Like you don't, it doesn't need to be like a full, full, full face. Kind of put a good amount of that in the cap just to pat on with the puff and then any excess that I have, I'll use this brush. This is one of my Amazon brushes and I just kind of tap in any excess I can get off the cap over the rest of the face to set the rest of the face. And you can see we are set. We are, we are getting there. Next up, let's warm up the face with a little bronzer. I'm using House Labs. Can't stop using all of these products. These really are, like they have become like holy grail products. This one is blurring. It warms up the face so beautifully, especially with this brush. This is a BK Beauty brush. There we go. Like I said, that's just gonna add that warmth, that color to the face. I'm gonna do a little bit of highlight with my Dior Backstage and I actually am just mixing the pink and the white. And I do this, I just do this right on the top of my nose. And down the bridge of my nose. I don't like to highlight too much on my nose because I actually feel like it can accentuate my nose and make it look bigger. So I just like to do the top to try and give it a lift. And then I will tap a little bit on the tops of my cheekbones with my finger and then the tops of my, or on both sides. Sometimes I'll also just do this like on the lid or on the inner corner just to give it a little bit more of like a, you know? We're not doing any eyeshadow today. I'm dipping back into that bronzer and I am just going to carve out a little bit. Not even really carve out but I'm just doing this motion right here. And this is gonna bronze up the lid, give it a little depth, and it's also gonna wrap this makeup look together because it's the same bronzer shade. It's the easiest way to do a quote unquote eyeshadow. I'll also bring this down on the sides of my nose to give my nose a little bit more of a contour, a little bit more precision there. For eyes, other than that, this is all I've been doing. This is the Bobbi Brown Dual Ended Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick. I use the side. This is cinnamon and rusted pink, but I use the cinnamon side. And I just put this on the lid like messily, kind of just like that on the outer part of the lash line. A little bit on the lower lash line like that. And then I do the same thing over here. If you don't want to do anything on the eyes, you could obviously skip this step. But I like to give a little bit of depth. And this color really makes my eyes pop. So I'm just grabbing, I think this is a Persona brush. And anything that's just like kind of small but dense and can really smudge something out is what you want. But this smudges so easily. I do my little wing with it. I'll even like, if it's too much, I'll just push it in and blend it with my finger. I'll even bring it up on to the actual lid, just in the outer third. And I just kind of smudge it till I like it. It's so easy. It's so much easier than trying to do winged liner. It's even faster for me than what I used to do with my eyeshadow. I used to always do like an angled brush and eyeshadow. This has become my holy grail, like eyeliner product, because it's so easy. I love how you can just kind of use your finger to clean stuff up. It's very user-friendly and it's such a nice product. Sometimes I want just like a little bit more of a smudge. And so I'll just grab another brush to kind of smudge it a little bit more. If I want to clean that up a little bit, grab the It Cosmetics brush and just clean that up. Boom. Easy. Very important step. We're going to curl the lashes. I never used to do this, but oh my God, my eyes just cannot bring themselves to be open during the day. So this is so, so necessary. It just opens the eyes, makes the mascara go on so much better. I'm telling you, don't sleep on that step. For mascara, we are using Say, and this is one of my Holy Grails as well. I've been using this forever. It just does something to the lashes so quickly, so beautifully. It just makes them look stunning. One of the best parts about it is the head of it. As long as you, you know, clean it off so it's not clumpy, you get those little bristles and you can get right in here 
to these lashes and it just like multiplies your lashes and just allows you to be allows you to be very precise look at the difference it speaks for itself also if you're not blinking on your mascara you're missing out on a whole level of lash that you could have okay we have a little bit we need to clean up there but look at this face who is she she was not here 10 minutes ago at this point you could very well put on a powder blush just to set your face a little bit more i like to go back on with my say and you will see why in just a moment it makes this look a lot more natural and skin like um because of the dewy finish and because it's a cream product it's freaking beautiful i hope it's translated on camera because it is just stunning oh god i love it so much just again brings that color back and that life back into the face blush is usually the first thing to go so i like to be pretty liberal okay lips i've been torn about because i've been using a couple different things but most often i am using either anywhere caffeine or wherever walnut from makeup forever this is wherever wa walnut i actually spend a good amount of time on my lips now where i used to just like be a spouse about it now i'll start at the bottom i'll connect each corner down to that bottom line only overlining underneath and on top. So then I will go back to that corner and bring it up, follow my natural lift line almost a little bit underneath it. Then I can overline a little bit on the cupid's bow, bring it right back. Same thing over here. This technique gives such a snatched lip, whereas I used to, I think, be really bad because at overlining, I overline too much to like compensate for the fact that my lips are slightly disproportionate like this side of my lips is a little bit thinner but i feel like this looks so much better when i do it this way and then i'll just kind of get it on and then you saw me do the corners and i just kind of press it in with my fingers give it a good smudge i did avoid the center of my lips pretty much entirely now i'm gonna grab that blush again stick that right in the middle on both sides on top and bottom i mean I'm so obsessed with this lip, not even done yet. But again, it's all monochromatic. We had the blush on the cheeks. We had a little bit on the lid, which any excess I'll put up here. We have the bronzer on the eye and the nose and the face. All the colors just work really well together. And then the last step for the lip is just any clear gloss or mask that you have that you love. I love the rosy outlook, forget the filler from Lawless. This is plumping, but I don't feel like it plumps a ton. I just like the finish it has on the lips. It smooths everything out, you'll see. It just makes them look juicy. This came out even better than I thought it was going to. I'm just gonna do a little bit more of my highlight from Dior, just that white shade, and I'm using my little tiny brush, hit that inner corner. It's just gonna brighten up that eye a little bit more, open up the eye a little bit more, and I feel like it brings everything together. Final, final step to make it last, one size setting spray. This is going to keep you matte, but also just keep your makeup in place and it won't allow your makeup to transfer at all. I do think it's crazy that I don't have foundation on. I really do feel like foundation would make this look a lot more cakey and we obviously don't want that, but I do feel like this is like very much like a full coverage face, but we're not using foundation. So we love that. So here's the final face. I'm going to do something with my hair and get dressed and I'm going to come back and show you guys the final look okay so she's literally a different person <laughs> and thank the lord i wanted to just show you guys like my last finishing touches i did see a little bit of like mascara that needed to be kind of flicked off like off. i did that quick with my finger i just kind of like patted out any creasing you know just the finishing touches and then for my hair it was so easy i mean i'm not obsessed with it but it's definitely like i'm just trying to make it like messy bun girly vibes so i just pulled down these front pieces i put a little curling iron through it which i'll show you in a second and then i threw it up in a bun this was like the fourth bun i did because the first three usually suck i just have to keep trying and then i'll just any pieces that i want to pull down i'll just kind of curl a little bit with my t3 and my hair's super dirty right now so i just have a little i just not a little i have a lot of dry shampoo I did not have time to like actually wash my hair. So I just embrace the dirty. It usually ends up looking like a lot thicker and better in like an updo when it is dirty. And then yeah, like any of these pieces, just like a little, little curl. I mean, even pieces in the back you could do this with. Um, and I would just do some bobby pins just to kind of secure it. But I think that is so cute. Now let me show you the dress because the dress is the star of the show. 
Okay, so I'm taking over to my full length mirror, but this dress is obviously bump friendly. I'm 33 weeks pregnant right now. <laughs> this would actually be a really cute baby shower outfit. I'll style this in a second, but how gorgeous is this dress? Look at the little, you know, sleeves, the square neck. It's smocked on the top, so it's super stretchy and comfortable. I'm not wearing a bra. Fits the bump beautifully, but this is not maternity. So if you are not pregnant, I actually think this dress would be so stunning. Either way, the length is perfection. It just hits me right in the midi length. And usually these are a little too long on me. I don't know if I showed you guys the earrings. I think I did. The whole thing is Amazon. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm bringing you all around my room today. The lighting's way better over here. So you can actually kind of see the full vibe. For accessories, we are doing these sunglasses, which are definitely a designer dupe. I think they're so cute with an updo. Also will look great with this hairstyle just sitting right on my head. Love that as like an added jewelry piece. I don't have my rings on yet. I'll put those on. This is the bag. Okay, and then these are the shoes. All Amazon whole thing. And I honestly feel like this could pass as like a hundreds of dollar outfit and it's not. Okay, I'm gonna try and back up and give you the full. My room is not clean, so just ignore it. Take it all in. <laughs> I just love this look. Love how this turned out. I'm gonna link everything for you guys in the description box below. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. You made it so much more enjoyable and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.